I'm Tom Burr, and we're in my space in Torrington, Connecticut, that I'm calling the Torrington Project. So this is a building that I drove by quite a lot, so I knew it from the exterior and I'd never been inside. There's sort of one very kind of uh, discreet and unsensational entrance. That also interested me quite a lot, that there was this notion of an unfolding because you come up with one flight of stairs and then the space just sort of unfolds in front of you. To me, it, 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 it's a kind of spatial dynamic that was quite active in the 80s and 90s in New York relative to club spaces, certain kinds of restaurants, certain kinds of pleasure spaces that had to do with being somewhat hidden, somewhat difficult to find. That was part of the, uh, uh, the pleasure and the desire to go there. And then they would unfold inside and, and, that, and this space has that dynamic. I wanted to make sight lines connections between 1989, 1999, 2009, 2019, and the present day. Eight Renovations is something that I wrote for a magazine um, as a magazine project in 1997, uh, an Austrian publication. I wanted to give new life to. It's a series of eight texts that describe spaces that were in flux in, in Manhattan. In the 90s, I was very interested in spaces that were in flux, constantly changing, whether it uh, be spaces taken down, spaces being erected, gallery spaces shifting through neighborhoods, gentrification occurring, things being layered over other spaces. And the proposal within each one of these descriptive paragraphs, simply describing the space and some of that flux, was this idea of using sheetrock, um, the sort of sheetrock that's used in American bathrooms and kitchens. It's water resistant, it's green, and it was distinct. And it was always used in transitional spaces or spaces that were slightly different than the other spaces in a, in a building or, or a home. The project was never realized, maybe it was never intended to be realized. I installed those texts here in the Torrington Project. And working with Christine for Freeze in New York, we decided to take the eight renovations and make um, a poster of each one using the green sheetrock color. So we're installing the eight renovations as a poster, um, doing a sort of guerrilla advertising campaign in Manhattan at sites that are allowed now. This used to be sort of a free-for-all, and so these will be posters that then will get repeated in advertising fashion that have this color green that the sheetrock has, so they'll be easily identifiable from a distance and sort of take on it in a sort of monochromatic form. The only one that's different is the ninth renovation, which is the one at the shed, which will be printed on actual sheetrock. I wanted to add one to bring it back to where I am right now, back, back to the current moment. So the ninth one jumps forward and kind of completes it. One of the things that I was interested in talking about with that original set of renovations, proposals, was the connectedness of things. Uh, nothing is existing in a vacuum. So the closing of a public restroom has everything to do at the same time with the emergence of a, of a new affluent uh, gallery district, um, that these things are all interconnected in terms of uh, how publics use spaces. I think historically, m you know, my work has always been sort of about the dynamic between the public and the private. I'd thought about this before the pandemic, that I wanted to work with a large space in some way, but in a way differently than I have done in the past. I wanted to do it very much on my terms. I didn't want it to be an extension of one of my galleries. I didn't want it to be a part of another institution. And I didn't want it to be considered a studio in the classical sense. Um, I didn't want it to be an artist-run exhibition space. I didn't want it to be an artist-run museum. I wanted it to touch on all of these, these histories, but be something other, something where I could gather together archival work, archival ideas, unrealized ideas, works that had been destroyed, works that had been forgotten, and bring those together in an evolving configuration here in the space, while at the same time creating new work. These large works over here were, were a work called Container 123 that were first exhibited or only exhibited in Berlin in, in 2000, 2001. These are drawings from when I was in art school that sort of became unearthed during this process. 
this was a city, a small city that seemed really quite rich with possibilities in terms of empty spaces. My work has always come out of certain traditions of site specificity. And this time I wanted to invert the equation to a certain degree and create the site where I am. I wanted to think about this idea of hosting. I wanted to quite literally bring people to where I, where I was. It is within the constellation of the art world um, that, I, that I'm in, I think very much about the fact that this is somewhat remote, that, that there needs to be a, something of a, of, a, of a journey to get here, a conscious decision to get here. The, the project is, it has a beginning and an end. Uh, this isn't an, a, a forever project. So this first year has been fairly hermetic. And then things, as people start to come, things will unfold, things will shift, things will change. Some things will leave, some things will come in, other collaborations will occur.